right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. In today's video, guys, I'm gonna be talking about my first semester back since I left school in 2017. So, as always, let's just jump right into it. And the first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is my grades, or more specifically, my GPA. We'll get into the reason why a little bit later. But this semester uh, is finally over, and my overall GPA is a 3.0. Now, could it have been higher? Of course. But overall, pretty pleased with it. Certainly a lot higher than uh, my other semesters have been, even on my good semesters. And uh, I have two main takeaways from this semester as far as changing learning styles and stuff like that. Not so much the stuff I learned in class, but just kind of like how what I learned about learning, basically. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So the first takeaway is to do better planning and work on some big projects early. Now, I did have some major projects that I knew about uh, from the very beginning of the semester, and the main reason my grades weren't higher was because I took some major hits from certain projects. And I think that had I started work on those projects earlier, maybe come up with like a rough draft or an outline or a basic concept of what I wanted to do with those projects, then I would have had a much better chance at success with those projects and thus higher grades. So I kind of took the hit on that, but uh, it's a good learning experience and I got a pretty gosh darn good uh, GPA out of it. And the second takeaway is to obviously get some more exercise. Now I know y'all are gonna be in the comments saying, Andy, hit the gym, lose some damn weight, you know, stuff like that, which I appreciate the concern, but as far as like weight loss and stuff like that, I'm going to wait until I get out to Japan, just because it's easier, uh, the food portions are smaller, it's overall healthier food, even the not so healthy stuff. And I'm gonna be doing a lot more walking there than I do here in America. So I'm just gonna wait until I get out to Japan to really focus on weight loss. But in the meantime, since I'm here, I might as well focus a little bit on kind of building my muscles back up because since I got back to the States, I don't do nearly as much walking as I did back when I was out in Japan where I pretty much either walked or bicycled pretty much everywhere. But basically I want to uh, build my walking muscles back up and also kind of give me some kind of physical activity to do to uh, clear up the old head brain and also the physicality as well because as I talked about in Previous update videos I had some problems with my hip slash butt area from sitting too much. If that wasn't a sign, I don't know what it is to uh, literally get off my ass and start walking some more. So that's really been helping uh, slowly but surely. And obviously I'm able to sit down and not scream in agony. So uh, it's good for something, right? So figure just do that, get me out of the house, doing something because I'm sitting here in my room all day, either you know, working on freelance projects or homework or whatever isn't exactly good for the old head brain or anywhere else in my body. So I gotta get out there, get moving, but uh, I don't wanna be doing running because uh, right now out here in North Carolina and apparently the rest of America, we're going through a massive heat wave right now. So there's been days where it's been, you know, ill-advised to even go out for a walk because of the heat and especially here, in the south, uh, the humidity as well. But I do have to prepare myself for Japanese summer, right? So uh, I figure might as well get on it, right? And plus running really hurts my joints. I can't really do like high impact stuff like I used to. And even when I was a lot lighter, uh, it still really hurt my joints. So I don't know what the deal is with that. So I've just been focusing more on kind of low impact activity, you know, just doing some walking. And so that's pretty much all I wanted to say about my GPA now. The reason that I didn't say my grades and said, say, said my GPA was because currently the college has placed a hold on my account. Now, it's kind of complicated, but I'm gonna give the uh, kind of the basic gist of the reason behind that. And that is uh, the school charged me for out-of-state tuition because I haven't been living in North Carolina for a year. So they treated me as an out-of-state student I came across this in Michigan, but basically uh, through the GI Bill, there are certain schools that have something called the Yellow Ribbon Program, which basically reduces your out-of-state tuition 
and makes it equivalent to in-state tuition. Since I qualify for the Yellow Ribbon program, the VA basically paid them in-state tuition, but the school charged me out-of-state tuition. And I've gone through like 10 or 12 different departments and people to kind of figure out what the situation is. And basically, I just had to put in an appeal for the outstanding charge. And then um, I'm also in talks with the VSO, the uh, Veteran Services Office, and they're gonna be taking care of that once that appeal has been processed, whether it's successful or not. So it just has to get in the system for the VSO to go in there and be like, hey, this guy's a yellow ribbon student, so you know, figure that stuff out. And then it'll remove my outstanding charge and I'll be able to carry on smartly from there. So bureaucracy, gotta love it, right? <laughs> So right now, uh, it's just a matter of waiting for the system to, to do its thing. So that's pretty much it for the school stuff. In between now and the next semester is about a one month period. What's your boy, the old Andy San Sam Modesta, to do? Basically, I'm gonna be focusing on some freelance video editing projects. I have four in the queue that I gotta get to, uh, to working on. Uh, so your boy's gonna be busy with that. And in addition to that, I'm also going to be working on my own videos as well. Now, I plan on doing some video editing tutorials on my editing channel because I've been rather lax in updating that channel. I basically took a break during the summer semester to focus on school and stuff like that. And uh, obviously, did pretty well. <laughs> but I definitely want to get back to making videos on that channel again. And not just tutorials, I also want to do other videos on that channel as well, like uh, talking about sort of like content creator problems, a la Roberto Blake, maybe going over some equipment stuff, maybe going over uh, like certain editing programs, things like that. Just kind of, you know, building up more of a variety on that channel as opposed to just tutorials. And I'm just, you know, experimenting with a few things, seeing what sticks, might come across the, the next big series. <laughs> so that's the plan moving forward with that channel. Now, as far as this channel goes, um, I definitely want to do more episodes of Andy Talks Japandi, formerly known as Andy Before Japandi, and uh, have some ideas already written down and just been kind of compiling them over the summer semester. And I've also been taking some questions from you guys as far as what I should talk about as it involves Japan and my time there, circa 2013, 2015. Now, as far as the uh, the whole getting to Japan thing, because I'm sure you guys probably want to know about that, I owe a little bit of money to the VA. As long as I owe money to the VA, I'm not getting full BAH. And that's a bit of a problem if I'm going overseas where the amount of hours and stuff that I can work is limited. My main goal is to reduce that debt as much as possible. Once the debt is reduced or preferably eliminated, then to really start putting in some money for savings to get out to Japan. Because I do gotta save up a lot for it and I wanna make sure that I have full BH when I'm out there so I have a, a fighting chance of living in Tokyo. Because Tokyo can be pretty expensive it can also be very cheap if you know where to look and know how to spend your money. But I just want to set myself up best way possible so I'm not coming home broke and uh, trying to pick up the pieces from there. Basically the plan is to use as much of my BAH as I can to pay off the smaller debts because the debt that I owe the VA is broken up into three chunks. I want to pay off the two smaller chunks and then from there, just kind of let what uh, I agreed upon to be taken out from my BH to pay off the debt over time. So rather than it taking 12 months, it'll take like maybe six or eight. And so from there, I'll be able to put away that BH to save up for my trip to Japan. And the main things that I'm using that money to save up for is uh, plane ticket money. I gotta save up for a laptop, because as much as I love the chill box, and it's been serving me well these past four, going on five years. Uh, it's not exactly the most portable, practical thing when uh, you're backpacking to Tokyo. So I gotta get myself something a bit more mobile. And uh, I also gotta get myself a camera because I sold all my cameras uh, last year. 
And uh, the next thing is the most important, which is living expenses money until the GI Bill kicks in overseas. So those are the main things I'm gonna be saving up for. Um, ideally, as far as like bare minimum amount of money that I want, I'm shooting for about $3,000 USD. That seems to be a pretty good chunk of money to get started out there. And then once GI Bill kicks in and I do some freelance projects and all this other stuff, then it'll just kind of go from there. Um, as far as like, you know, potential semester or anything like that on my return to Japan, grade wise, I could easily apply for the spring semester. But as far as financially, uh, it would be in my best interest to apply for the summer semester. There's a couple reasons for that. One, it gives me a little bit more time to save up. And two, there are certain universities that require you to spend some time in a dorm. Um, there might be a way for me to get out of it because I'm you know, much older than most of the people that go out there. And I'm also a prior service veteran who's lived in Japan before. So there's a possibility of me being able to, to bypass that. But in the event that I can't, the summer semester is the shortest, so I'll end up spending the least amount of money on the dorms, which can get pretty pricey. I, I've been looking up the prices for, uh, for dorms and stuff like that. I mean, they're in like ideal parts of Tokyo and they're very westernized, so obviously you get what you pay for. But uh, if you don't exactly have the scratch for that, uh, it's a little, a little daunting. So I figure best bet would be to go in the summer so I don't have to spend as much on the dorms. And then once summer semester is over in the fall, I can move to uh, more cheaper accommodations. So that's the plan moving forward, the ja plan, as it were. And with that said, guys, this is the Andy Son. Sign for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.